Ladies, ladies, ladies. I'm here on this hill. And I'm here on this hill. And I'm here to talk about some NBA or sports nuts. Talk about some NBA news, basically. Around the world of the NBA, ladies and gentlemen. So. Here's the truth. Start off with a. A pretty funny story here. A better placed ten thousand dollars, basically betting on the Sacramento Kings to win the NBA championship in twenty twenty three. And they hope pays for that person to bet ten thousand dollars to Sacramento Kings to win it the NBA championship. But it was ten thousand dollars down the drain, ladies and gentlemen. Ten thousand dollars is down the drain. Like, just send it, just give it a charity or something, man. That's ten thousand dollars you won't be seeing ever again. Just donate the damn money to charity. Wasted ten k. Man. But yeah, I thought that was funny. Uh, Patrick Beverly, um, he's drawn interest from the Lakers. He's drawn interest from multiple teams here. Um, he's drawn interest. I mean, I feel like the Lakers are interested in everybody, man. Every playing free agency is drawn interest from the Lakers. There's no way he's going to the Lakers, though. There's no way he's going to the Lakers. Is it, he, him and Russell Westbrook hate each other. He's just getting past her, right? You know, at this point. Um, here's some top 10 uh, jersey sellers in France. Uh, so we'll go over that right quick. Um, Stephen Curry uh, is number one. Um, John Morant, number two. Jimmy Butler, number three. Surprising, Jimmy Butler, number three. Number four, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Number five, LeBron James. Number six, Luka Doncic. Number seven, Tyler Hero. Number eight, Paul George. Number nine, Kawhi Leonard. And number ten, Joel Embiid. Then Europe knows, I guess knows Jimmy Butler, ladies and gentlemen. But Rudy Gobert in his own country is not a top ten jersey seller. Man. Tyler Hero's up there at number seven, but no Rudy Gobert, even though know, he's from France. Damn. Um, Pendejo face for Mr. Rudy Gobert, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Pat Connaughton, they signed a three-year, $30 million deal with the Bucks. Um, and the deal that takes the Bucks, Keith Shooter and well regarded later, through the 2025-2026 season. I mean, it's kind of a steal for real. A good three-point shooter. The Bucks needed to keep him. I think he's worth that money. I think it's probably like $10 million per year. $10 million per year, probably. Over three years, so good deal here. Um, NBA. Um, the NBA is going to improve elimination of a transition take foul. So basically, what we're talking about here is a, the fouls in transition. Um, the take foul was overly used by teams out of defense to eliminate fast break opportunities in which the defending team was at, new, was at a numbers disadvantage. The NBA's com competition committee, committee is moving forward with a proposal to grant the team an offensive one free throw and possession of the ball if the team on defense employs the take foul. So basically, if you now take a foul transition, the team will offense will get a free throw and the and possession of the basketball. So I I kind of like this because I like the tra when teams go in transition because it's much more fun when teams do that just take foul just kind of lame. So I mean I like this is a W here for the NBA. This is a W here for the NBA, ladies and gentlemen. Um. The Warriors, they left a roster spot for um, Andre Udala. And just in case he decides to come back, basically, um, the Udonis Haslam, Udonis Haslam 2.0. I mean, he could just retire. Let some young blood take that spot. 
Um, Slam retire. I mean, he's slam retire, but I honestly should say, I mean, they have a good chance of winning a champ again, so I mean, you might as well stay. I mean, so yeah. Um, any other news? Any other news? Um, uh, Gorgon Drogic, he said the reason why he didn't sign with the Mavs is because he didn't want to be like a cheerleader, basically. They wanted uh, they wanted him to play one game and sit for like the next five, and he said he, he can easily play like 20 plus minutes. I mean, he straight up, he straight up just called him out, basically. I just don't think he's going to get 20 minutes. I think the Mavs are just mad stupid. I mean, he's a good, decent backup. I mean, he went to the Bulls, though, where they have, like, Lonzo, Alex Caruso, um, Kobe, Kobe Wise, Zach Levine. So, we'll see. But, he was, I mean, he should get some playing time, though. Um, the other news. Um, Silver confirmed. Uh, the league will look into rem remedies. How do you say that word? Regarding players requesting trades or into their contracts. If players don't want to be locked into loan contracts, then don't sign them and ask for, like, a shorter deal. Like... The owners can easily like solve this. They're not required to grant trades. I mean, like the rules should apply on players who do this on a regular basis. Like Kevin Durant does this on a regular basis, but they're kind of training like KD, like how they did CP3 trying to go to the Lakers. So yeah, and he literally signed a four-year extension, so he shouldn't really be able to trade himself. Um. The Jazz, they're willing to tr listen to trade offers for um, Donovan Mitchell. It was originally reported that they weren't going to trade him, but now they are. But now they're going to trade him, most likely. So, yeah, they're just listening to offers, so yeah. Um, I didn't write those last few, few stories down, I was just too lazy. just read them off the Instagram from here by uh, Hooper. So, yeah, if you want some NBA news, go to Hooper. That's where I get my NBA news from, and uh, the NBA Central on Twitter, so yeah. And that's all the NBA news, ladies and gentlemen, so if you next time, I might like a like. I thank you for watching.